What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the final part of our Callisto Protocol Let's Play. And I really hope you all have been enjoying. I've had my moments of the game where I've been up and down, but we have come to the end of our conclusion, uh, and this is going to be the final part for this uh, playthrough that we're doing. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel out and allows it to continue to grow and reach a new audience. Thank you to the members that make it possible for me to continue to play these games and show them off to all of you. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to all the donators out there that make it possible just to pay the bills so that I can continue to do this full time. Um, and with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump in uh, where we just left off. We had a huge boss fight that I did not like at all <laughs> to say the least but um yeah so let's go ahead and continue our playthrough let's go i mean look how fast that loads in that's uh that's pretty crazy it does load in pretty fast all right let me get myself ready again um but let's do it Arden J J Jedha. Jerica, are you there? You see the UJC response team for the love of the gods, run the other way. I'm on the platform. Headed back to Arden. So this is the only thing I gotta say about this. I love how they, they've really set up the aesthetic just like in Dead Space, right? But at least with Dead Space, he had his arm up and you actually felt like he was reading off of this thing. In this game, where is that coming from? It looks like it's literally just, it's just coming out of nowhere. Like he doesn't have like a vision thing on or he's not coming from his arm or something like that. So it's not immersive to have this screen here as it would be in Dead Space because it made more sense. So I'm not sure why they went with that, but uh, I digress and let's continue. Let me make sure which weapon I have. I have that one. Uh, what do I got? So I've got nothing in the shotgun and nothing in shotguns at all. All I got is pistol. That took almost all of our... And we could have, honestly, we could have done that fight. I got the, like the black screen of death here. Okay. We could have done that fight um, with just melee. Now, I mean, it would probably take significantly longer, so I don't know if I would want to do that, but the option was there. It was just going to take a lot longer and probably not be as fun. Not that that fight was fun to begin with, so... Definitely wasn't fun. Alright, let's move on. We don't have a lot of ammunition, so we're going to have to be careful. Minor log number one. By the way, my Browns just won. Thanks to their defense. Deshaun Watson's first game back. It went about as I expected. It was going to be rough. Got to get the cobwebs off. But uh, the Browns defense held and uh, we won. And that's what matters. So. All right. Who was it? I literally just forgot who it was. Um, it's, oh, it's here. Duncan Cole. Was it Duncan Cole? This will be my final report from here. The tower renovations are nearly complete. And the program. Reactivated under the supervision of Dr. Muller. And what do you hope to achieve? Results? After decades of misguided research. Don't you see? Evolution doesn't happen in the lab. It happens in the wild. I don't remember which one it was. I wish they did a better job of letting you know which one it is. I know it said it, but I, I, after talking for a while, I didn't really have the time. I think it was minor log number one.
This gets me even more excited to see the Dead Space remake. Very excited. I'm at the colony. Where are you? See that light tower? Meet me there. Light tower. Got it. Give me some more ammunition, that's what I really want. Minor log number two. Ready for anything. I just hope we don't have to face that same boss again. Because I... God, what is up with that noise? I do not... Oh, God. Doing all right. Okay, so we've already dealt with these enemies and we know how to deal with them, but if they ever thought about adding an enemy they can see, that would throw the whole thing for a wild curveball. It's almost like they add too much sound for one of those kills, and it really distracts you because it makes you think you've gotten caught when you haven't, because it adds just too much sound. Like one of those instances where it's almost a bad thing to have so much sound there. Is that just me, or does shadow, like, disappear when you got a little bit further away? Yeah, see? No shadow? Shadow. Maybe that's because we're on performance mode, but... I don't think we can get behind him. Nope. Shit. No. Okay. All right. We got lucky there. I was trying to get behind him, but the game puts you in those moments where they just don't want you to get behind him, so... I don't know why they put him there in a back corner. Probably for people like me that will try... <laughs> will try to do everything they can to get behind him to get the extra points. All right, so we got to put one of those things in. We're just going to have to find it and locate it. Looks like this place was evacuated in a hurry. Hmm. 
But I do like the fact that this game said we're, we're gonna throw we're gonna throw a lot of stealth in there. Well, don't move too much forward. I want to make sure I'm good. I'm getting on all right, Terry. Sorry if I'm not paying too much attention, but during these stealth moments, I really, really, really don't want to screw it up. So I don't want to take too many chances. Where did he come from? He was in there. That guy was not in there before. Yep, that's another one of those chances where it will not let you get up to him, so do not take him out. You see how it missed? At least we're building some ammo back. I'm so happy that me stomping on them doesn't give everything away immediately, because it could easily do that. Unfortunately, they're really not dropping anything in these areas at all. Yes, everybody, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel out. I know it's something as small as a like. A lot of people might think, what the heck is my like gonna do? But trust me when I say it does a lot. Everyone said, well, I'll leave a like, then these videos would be able to get out there and these live streams would be able to get out there to so many more people. Now another area with nothing in it. All right, so what I'm thinking is it's gonna be upstairs because there's a ladder on that far side and my guess is that's where uh, this thing is going to be. There's also a down area here. Let's check this one out first. Yeah, it seems like to me that they really just wanted to pan out the time of the game by putting an area like this, where there's literally nothing in this area except for the one spot you need to go to, and you don't know what that spot is, so you're going to sit here, you're going to move around, you're going to take the time to look for everything. Um, I don't know. Can I get that from the... Probably not, so I'm gonna go ahead and... What am I doing with hand cannon? We got 10. Let's go back. Alright, let's take this ladder. Really, that's the only spot left to go. There is this little area to the right, left here, but as you can see, there's nothing. Some people we could not take out because the game would not, oh, oh shit. I'm just glad that it didn't ruin my stealth. No, I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to deal with that. There could be something in there too, but there's no enemies over there, so it might be okay. Look, there's no way to get over there.
Probably gonna need some type of key card to get into there. I don't see anything glowing. All right. Another one of those instances, and of course there's something behind there. This is the same thing. Minor log number three. something there I don't think got it nice okay so my question is what's in this room with the tiny creatures is it worth getting is it worth risking a little bit of health will anyone else hear it I don't see really anything, just a, just the health stem. So really not, I would say, not worth the risk of going in there into that room, but we came out of it okay. So we got to go past this guy. My guess is there's probably going to be something scripted here because I can see someone coming out of this left side because it's really not giving me a lot of wriggle room here. Perfect. Alright. Where there's a will, there's a way, folks. You gotta want it. Alright, we got skunk gun ammo. We got four of nine already in there. Ten of thirty-two, but still none riot. Yeah, that guy came fast, too. Just barely had enough time to go back. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen when I saw that there. Assault rifle, yes! Definitely worth it going in there. Definitely worth it. Oh, that's up there. I don't know. Well, I think we can. Okay, there's another one right there. And another one right there. Alright, let's try the first one.
Okay. We know what's going to happen. Probably as soon as I do this, someone's going to come there. I don't know if I can still maintain the stealth, so the first thing I need to do is try to grab that and then work with I Gotta Work. Otherwise... Let's stick with this one. All right. Got it. I should head back to the elevator. All right. Jacob. I found something. What? Check it up here. You need to see it. Oh, shit. They could have done. Hello. Man, they're really trying to get you with these guys. What? How? That must have been automatic. That was automatic. There's nothing I could do there. I mean, that was literally automatic. I don't know why it keeps switching my weapons. Did you notice that? Like, do you see how it keeps switching to my shotgun every single time? I was not on my shotgun. I was on this shotgun. I literally had it out. This is the shotgun that I had out. And then it switched. Look, it's, it's like maybe it's every time you pick up that, it switches. I don't understand what's going on. It just keep, it keeps switching to the other weapon. Very weird. He is no longer in there, that's good. Just expect someone to come out when you open this thing up or him to wake up. Yeah, his tentacles are moving. That tells me he's gonna wake up. Oh dear. Oh, jeez. I had to sh I had- oh my god, and all of them are coming out of the woodwork now. Alright. Oh, he did it three times. I'm not a fan of that. If you're gonna let me stealth, let me stealth. Got it. Don't I make back to the elevator. <gasps> all the way back here. Give me a freaking break. What? Just get up here. 
Game, you were doing so good with the stealth, and then you force something like that. It just does not sit right with me. I'm gonna try to see if I can get around these guys now that I know what to do. I just need to maybe step instead of shoot. Okay. He's gonna come this way. See, they always do the same thing. It looks like there's no deviation. And that's why it switches, see? Gotcha, now I know why. Okay, remember here? I tell you automatically nothing you can do nothing you can do it's automatic I don't like I don't like that stuff I don't like it there was no reason for me to automatically be caught there. Nobody even heard me. They heard someone else. Yeah, I need to reload something. I got three of those, two of those. What is that? That's a CPU printer. Um, I could probably get one of rid of one of those. All right. So I'm going to tr I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to, to successfully... I think you're just going to have to face them. I, I, I don't see a way that you could get around not facing them. Let me do it. I was trying to. Yeah. And it forces you. Dude, I just don't like it when they force you. I tried to use the glove. I, you gotta remember, guys, everything is very, very um, heavily animated, like animation driven. So you won't have enough time to do that if they do something a little too quick for you. It's very, very heavy, uh, heavy an animation.
All right, but we did it, and that's the main thing. And we only failed once, so I'll take it. Danny, I'm heading up to the tower now. Danny? Where'd she go? The Mole, Yannick Sage. No, animations don't cancel in this game. Hi, hey, baby. Hey, hey, hi. I don't want her to step on this thing, though. Can you get her? Can you get her? There's something right behind me that I don't want my daughter to, to step on. Go in there with mommy. All right. Daddy working. He'll see you later, give you big hugs. Boy, they trying. They trying. She's back. Boy, that that came out of like nowhere. <laughs> Honey, I know I know you want to be in here with daddy. All right, what am I looking? I still got four. Thank God I have the shotgun equipped, though, right? That was a different enemy. Have we seen that enemy before? Right here. Oh! That's a new enemy. That's a new enemy. They're throwing a new enemy this late in the game? And then nothing in here. No reason to go in here at all. This game loves to do that to us, doesn't it? Sheesh.
Nomad with another 20 memberships, although for some reason it only says you've gifted two. Guys, I don't know if you should trust that gifted membership thing, man, because sometimes it, I don't know if I'm going to have to look at my memberships and see how many I have. But it's only showing that two people were gifted a membership. So, I don't know. I mean, I hope that's not the case and it really is, right? You know. You know something about to come out of there. Oh, that right here. Nice. Oh, you missed an opportunity game. That right there was it. Daniel, member for nine months, the boss. Thank you so much for your re-membership, bud. Uh, Munchin, uh, chopping in, found you from the Hitman Absolution vids. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoy Hitman Absolution. That's definitely uh, one of my favorite Hitman games. I know a lot of people say that's on their bottom list, but... Oh, dude just blew me the F up. I knew it. I was dead. You just don't have enough time. At that point, you can't do anything, man. I mean, that's incorrect. You can. You can th you can do your my throw. I need to use it more, and I always forget that I have it. That's my problem. Always forget that I have it. Always forget. All right, so now we know what's about to happen. So I'm gonna throw these guys over this thing. I hope it'll work. Perfect. See? It's got to use that more often, right? I was already ready for it. Take a look. I still should have one. Yep. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! Oh my god! No! No! Freaking throw him over the damn thing! Why the oh my god, the throwing system is so bad. You got throw him over his body momentum when he's pushed forward should push him over the rail if only his legs are touching the rail. But no, that's not what happens. No health.
Minor log G Qua. G Quan. Uh please! You gotta help me! Sir, I need you to calm down. Uh, no! It's in my head! I need you to calm down and answer the question. Now when was your first exposure? Wow, Cincinnati's beating the crap out of Kansas City right now. Hmm. All right. Is that a ladder? No. Oh my god, dude. Freaking contextual things, man. You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. What? That thing was like floating in the air. All systems operating with a normal All right, we picked up a new assault rifle. This is probably something I'm going to want to get. My would be my guess. Let's sell what we got first. We got a few things. A thousand for a CPU printer. Nice. And then one of the two of these. That will work. All right. Choose an item. This is probably what I want. A thousand. Activating print assembly. Quality check verified. For sure, it's got uh, quality of life problems, you know. Item from print assembly. But let's see if this is going to be good for us. Still 698. I'm going to wait because I don't think what I got is enough for really anything else. All right. How much ammunition? 20? So it gave me 20. So hopefully that means I'll start picking up some of that am ammunition as well. Oh shit, I need the health up. <sighs> Almost forgot to health up. Cray cray. I'm sorry. I tried to protect you. You didn't deserve this. Danny. Hey, Danny. Get away from me! Okay. Okay. Hey. Sure. 
You don't seem okay. I was in their mind. Reliving their memories. There was an outbreak. 75 years ago. Just like what's happening in the prison. They killed everyone. Trying to contain it. Everyone. These aren't accidents. There's a pattern. Arcus, Black Iron, Europa. They're all connected. <laughs> There's almost, like, no reason in firing any weapons, just... God, do we have more enemies coming in? Oh my god, this is... No, this is not fair. This is not fair. This enemy... This enemy... This is not fair. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not fair. Not fair at all. This enemy, man. making me want to quit and I'm not a rage quitter Oh my god, man. I'm just so sick of it already. This is as fast as you freaking run.
It won't switch to the right weapon. I keep missing, man. My hands are too shaken.
okay? Got the drop on me, but yeah. God, it got so freaking hot in here. I'm sweating my freaking... My gosh, am I sweating so bad. I think my wife accidentally turned off the fan or something. Gosh, I'm like so sweating. That was so freaking hard. Holy crap, man. Way too hard. <laughs> we did it, though. I don't care. Freaking did it, man. A simple, simple boss fight. Really, really simple. It's just frustrating that you can't take any more than one hit. One hit and you're done. That's it. You don't get no second chances. You don't get nothing. It's one hit and that's it. Game over. Didn't know you can transfer memories like that. These implants are wired into the brain. Like copying a file. UJC required the miners to get a version of it. Okay, that's it. So what's it like? Weird. Like being two people at once. It really makes you understand them. Philip, thank you so much for the donation, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Escape the massacre. Really? You're gonna lock me out? <laughs> oh my god, it's glad to be over with that, man. I'm so glad to be over with that. <laughs> oh, it's not even funny. My heart, man. It got me ra it got me racing, but for all the wrong reasons. I just don't like that boss fight. Like I get it, man. They want they they're trying to change things the way the status norm is with boss fights. One hit kill, and then you have another enemy to worry about, which means you gotta be on the run, but it's so hard to be on the run against that enemy because the reach seems like it's very, very huge. Um Do we just get separated again? Yep. And can I not say the word separated right? My mind's right now. You okay? Yeah. Damn walkway collapsed. The way to the surface is on the other side of the colony. Just keep moving and I'll meet you there. This game just wants me to be separate from her. Ooh. All right. Is here for you. you know we're getting close to the end or they wouldn't be giving us all of this money. Maybe, uh... Remember, this is the same thing as the shotgun, or excuse me, as the assault rifle. Complete. So you really only have two weapons, and each one has detachable things. Verify. 
See, that's a totally new weapon. Don't have enough. All right, that's good. For now. All right, uh... So when you quick swap, I want to show you something. You're only quick swapping between two weapons. There was a skunk, and then there's that. It's going to go back to the skunk, and then back to that. You have to literally do the other slow switch in order to use the other ones. You have to do that to switch. Now you'll switch between the last two. So it's a system. I get what they're doing. Less things to carry around, but much, much more tough. Shit, I'm dead. What was I gonna do? You gotta take those things out first. Ah. Oh my god, dude, and now I'm screwed. See what I mean? Sit there and tell me where that is fair. Sit, go ahead, try. Try. Sit there and tell me where an instance like that is fair. There's a difference between making a game challenging and making a game uh, harder for the sake of it because it doesn't know what else to do. Well, I'm trying to figure out which one do I tackle first. I guess I just got to go for him first because I see him first. Oh my god! Oh! That was close. Oh my god! Wow, dude! They are. Hand <sighs> City is getting lit up by. Jamar Chase, they cannot handle him. I'm pretty sure we didn't gain anything there. Oh, we got a CPU printer. What? When did we get a CPU printer? Oh, it didn't count that, did it? Did we even get that last time or no? No, it didn't count that. That's why. 
I have to do that all over again. Sometimes you just gotta run. We ran. We said, we said, nope. We got out. ETFO. I got my pristine decoder ring. Are you kidding me? We can't go back. Oh God, it's right there. And I just picked up a pristine thing, man. Biodome. It wasn't there before. No, not back then. It used to be the mine shaft. Why would they cover it? Don't know, but we have to cut through there to get back to the prison. No, this is Unreal Engine 4. My God. What is that? An alien life form. Released by the miners when they 
broke through to Callisto's subsurface ocean. It was dead by the time we arrived, killed by security forces. But inside the carcass, we found thousands of larvae. Primary disease vectors for the biophage pathogen. We collected specimens and transported them to our central lab. I think this is going to have to be a melee fight. Or maybe not. Nope, can't can't pick him up. Nope. I don't know what to do. Five hits, five hits. I can only get one shot off because he doesn't give me long enough to freaking reload. That's how stupid this game is. It doesn't give you time. There, I got three. I'm screwed at this point. Hurry up, hurry up. 
No, it didn't do it. It doesn't give you enough time. Please switch, switch! Dang it! You're gonna have to get past me to bring it back up. You're gonna have to do better than that. Here we go. Oh, now it's got to reload. See what I mean? Boss fights suck. Stupid. Just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then die if you get it wrong for whatever reason. Uninspiring boss fight. Immediately, I'm pressing left and right the moment... The moment he strikes me, I'm pressing the opposite direction. That's the only way to dodge these in a row. You won't give me a chance to run. You gotta play the way the game wants you to play. Oh my god, see? I did not get hit. I swear I dodged that. Come out. Think it. I already switched. Oh my god, I swear I dodged. So you can't win this. It's just a matter of surviving.
See, I don't know. Is what I'm doing even worth it? Or is it based off of just a time? You just gotta... That's what I don't know. Do I need to do... Do I need to hit anything or just... See, I couldn't dodge left. It would not let me dodge left because there was a box in the way. Shit. First time I'm doing this. I'm 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 done with the dodging mechanics. I'm so freaking done with the dodging mechanics. I'm done with it. It's so mundane and so stupid, it doesn't work. I'm literally- I have to press it. I'm pressing left or right the moment he hits, the moment he swings, and I already have dodged. I'm already pressing the other direction. It's unintuitive, it doesn't work, no reason. Okay, that doesn't work either. Okay, it does. Right, I think that'll work. Like, it'll do it automatically, you just gotta do it, yeah. Oh, he came right out! Yeah, I think the melee does work better. I only want to use a shotgun. Right there. I'm just gonna use- I'm just gonna use melee. I'm not even gonna use shotgun at all. I'm still literally doing the same thing I did before. I'm still actually dodging. Except this time, the game recognizes it because it's in that auto-dodge mode. Look, he's already almost done. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm keeping auto-dodge on. I'm, I'm just not dealing with it anymore. I'm still doing the maneuvers as if I was dodging myself. So... And the game is recognizing it. I don't know on earth who would ever think that that right there is a fun boss fight. Just move left and right and hit. How on earth did anyone think that would be fun? Oh, they've dropped the ball on so many different things in this game and I'm so upset about it. I wanted to love this with all of my heart.
okay. This is unfair. I promised I would stop them. Fuck. I won't turn into one of those things. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Hey, we are gonna fix this. How? We're gonna stick to the plan. We're gonna get to the warden's tower. There's gotta be a way to reverse this. You don't know that. No, I don't. But we're not gonna give up now. We're gonna finish this thing together. I'm pretty sure whoever designed the melee system has already been yelled at tremendously. You're gonna need this. So they're gonna get a handful for sure. Yeah, we're almost there. Cause you know the publisher has said, what on earth were you creating with this dodge system? Duncan Cole disagreements. My patience is at an end, Muller. It's been close to six months. But we're close to understanding the bioface, to harnessing it. I just need more time. No. What happened on Europa was a tragedy. Was a revelation. Yeah, that was Sam Whit Whitwer, yeah. Still don't have enough. No. That might be the best one to have is the ammo capacity there. Or even the damage. I think ammo capacity is better for the shoddy. In progress. This is going to make me probably have eight shots, I would assume. Cycle complete. Eight shots per... Per one. I still got 1,070. See, not enough. Not enough. How many we got now? Eight. Nice. That will definitely come in handy. Looks like I don't want you to run here. She's seen better days. There's just a few things that keep this game from being great. I still would give it about a 7, probably, so far. I would give it a 7. I think a 7 is a fair number for the immersion the game has, and all those numbers are based off of the uh, melee system and the boss fights and how mundane and non-fun they are. Like, I want a boss fight to beat my ass and I have to figure out how to beat it, but... Every boss in the game so far has the same strategy. Every boss, same strategy. Dodge left, dodge right, dodge left, dodge right, until you see them visibly get <sighs> like that, and then go for a hit. Then rinse and repeat. Then slowly decide that, well, I can't take a shot, I have to reload. So this one time I'm gonna have to reload instead of getting a hit in. That is not, that's not fun. Prison's running on autopilot. Systems are all shot to hell. 
Almost got it. It's the show. The whole privilege affected. We should get the hell out of here. Good idea. Warden's signal is still active in the command tower. Can we make it to him? Looks like it. I'm getting the door now. I say seven because the graphics and the immersion are so up there, and I am a story and immersive guy. If I was a strictly gameplay guy and didn't care about graphics and immersion, then I could see myself giving it a six or five. But because these are the best graphics we've ever seen in a video game, you've got to give it some love. You know, when you try to create new boundaries with the way games look, it can be hit or miss when it comes to gameplay. You have to sacrifice one thing for the other sometimes. Return to yourselves. Well, that was quick. I mean, honestly, if a robot hits you, you're going to be dead. You're not going to be like, oh, man, that hurt. You're like, he should be dead. His face should be off. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop. 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 Full circle. Daddy, can you hear me? Daddy? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Right back where I started. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Find me. Waller? There's not much time. I was able to reroute one of the security units. I have Danny. Where is she? The lab at the heart of the prison. He's monitoring everything, but we can talk here. I can cure her. I want to help. You? You put this thing in my neck. And now you want to help. Please. You must hurry. Find me, Jacob. How? There's a room ahead that connects to an area normally off-limits to both inmates and guards. Find it and I'll clear the way from here. They try to get you with those stupid little jump scares, but it does not work. Not when you expect every one of those to be the same way. UGC printing at your service. All right. Oops. Please make a selection. Putting a silencer on really gives you that, um, more damage? Is that how that works? Is there another weapon we don't have? I'm seeing a question mark. Oh, that's because we don't have the, uh... We never got the tactical pistol. That's why. Because we didn't need it. I haven't felt the need for it. Hand cannon? Why would you get a pistol when you got the freaking hand cannon?
It becomes too predictable, yeah. Wow, they must expect you to go through a big fight here, or else they wouldn't give this to you right here. Oh no, it's this guy. Oh, not another one. Uneventful, not fun, boring. I fell asleep during the whole thing. But now I got no ammo. And of course the only thing left of those and you, it, it one hit, you're dead, so what's the point of even having those? Know what I mean, Vern? Unit online. Like, what was the point? At this point, I might as well, just so I could say that I unlocked every weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and take the one weapon we don't have, which is the tactical pistol. Use for you, 
use of the friend. Friend finished. Got one shot left. Let me see what I have. Ten, ten, that's all I got. So I think I want to go here. Let him switch to it. There we go. And then here. There we go. So now when I switch... Oh, they're both the same weapon. Dang it. So the tactical pistol is the same as the skunk works. Now there's just three different attachments. I mean, I don't understand why people thought you would take damage and need health. One one hit and you're dead with that thing. What's going on here? Uh, you're gonna give me a freaking CPU? Hi. Ah, oh, not enough. Yeah, Nightbot is automatic, so if you do a lot of caps, it's just gonna, um, uh, time you out for 10 minutes. It's, it's not on anybody, it's, that's just the nature of the beast. And be nice. Be nice to our bots. Our bots do a lot of good things. They try to keep the, the chat safe. Whoa, shit, dude! Choice. Every choice in your life. What choice will you make, Jacob? Will you remain as you are? Or will you choose to become something greater? I can't get a hit. Strongest enemy in the game. Oh my god! Almost died to the easiest enemies in the game. All right, so I got a switch. Let's see. Here you go. Okay.
That's it? Why did it give me such little health? Alright, I do not remember what it is that we just picked up. Um... Could have been this observation. Observation log. Subject 324-980 exhibits an intriguing mix of characteristics. Most notably, an enhanced will to survive. Recommend extraction and induction into the program. Alright. Can't believe it only gave me that much health. Guess what? One of these is going to have a creature in it. Soldier. And look, I even dodged it. Did you see that? Rewind that back. I freaking dodged it. And it still auto... auto hits you. <laughs> like, he even dodged it. That was hilarious. Surprise! Dang it. <sighs> I hate that they do that, man. I'm trying to rely on melee so I can save some ammunition because I haven't got much ammunition. But now, as you noticed, they're giving me less health and they're starting to hit you four or five times at a time now. So it's definitely a little different. Uh... I know the other one's coming out.
Oh, shit! I couldn't switch in time. <gasps> oh, good. Nice. It put me here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Jeez. Don't have to deal with them again. All right. What do I have? Six, four. Thank God I made it down in here so I could save that checkpoint. So we got Riot now. Okay, which is the way to go? I don't know which way to go. Okay. One shot.
Okay, um... Ah. Gotcha. Man, our pistol is pretty powerful. So I want to know, do you guys like having the camera here? Uh, do I make it engaging enough for you all, or does the camera not really matter to all of you? Let me know. Does, does having the camera here make you feel closer to me when we're playing this together? Let me know, because I always wonder that, you know, I, I feel like I'm one of those streamers that I'm not very good at um, conveying what's going on in my head as I'm trying to talk to all of you. I don't. I want to be entertaining. But I'm more of a walkthrough guy as opposed to a let's play guy, so therefore I feel like I'm not... Um... There's nowhere to go. I'm not really good at... You know, being... Being it is what you guys would want me to- need me to be, you know what I mean? Oh, there it is. Wow, okay. I definitely can tell you I am not the best let's let's player because I am just so much better at walkthroughs and, and and taking my time and showing you how to beat something perfectly you know what I mean but I know in today's streamer world it's all about this webcam and 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 the connection and all that kind of stuff um, but for me it's very uncomfortable just letting you know. I'm just gonna be always gonna be honest with you, never gonna lie to you. It, this always makes me uncomfortable. I don't know if I'll ever get comfortable being in front of a camera, because that's just not who I am. It's good for these kind of games, yeah. I I, I can agree to that. It's not not good for every game, because I prefer the game. I prefer the game to be the the most dominant thing in my walkthroughs and playthroughs. I want the game to shine. It's not about me. It's it's about the game, and that's how I've always felt. That's not really going to be enough for anything, is it? Ammunition's about the only thing that we could possibly get. And it ain't worth it, in my opinion, to buy. Okay, we got eight. 25. Let's go ahead and get that up. That's our tactical pistol.
I wonder how much further we have. Oh, I'm so tired of it. False sense of you getting something all the time. It's ridiculous. Why keep doing that? It's only pissing your fan base off. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Okay, I think I got him. See, I'm so bad at getting in the fans because they always hit little things on the top of buildings. The immersion is so great. I mean, that's what you want. It's it's just sometimes it's a little too immersive in that regard. That guy will never again be the head of a major corporation. Okay, so they're gonna give me- they're gonna give me a lot of enemies here, cause that's why. Cause I got three left. With one battery pack. Why are you walking, dude? Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it won't do it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, man. It's a horrible system that does not work half the time.
I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck right now. I there's no I there's nothing I can do. I'm dead. I'm stuck. When there's two people aiming at you like that, you're done. Nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. Especially when it's that guy. And now all of a sudden I have one. I, I don't think it's best for me to have that weapon. I think it's better for me to have this one. Alright, so now I got a full thing. I just gotta run around. It's all about running around. Oh shit. I'm hitting the fucking run button! I'm so sorry for cussing. I'm so- I'm so sorry. It's too frustrating. It's just too frustrating. It will only run when the game wants you to run. Talk about horrible design. When you get so close to that enemy, it goes into freaking melee mode and you cannot run anymore. You have to stay there. It, it sucks you in and it will not let you get away. My wife's calling me. I'm sorry, I gotta take this. I'm still streaming, babe. Is everything alright? Okay. Okay, alright. Okay. Bye. Oof. I got <laughs> I didn't have anything left. I had no ammunition left. You can't melee these guys. You can't melee them when they're in the middle of hitting you. You can't do it. You'll, you'll die instantly. I had nothing left. Nothing.
This game, man. It takes a soul. It takes it out of you of wanting to play video games. It really does. It's so sad. He still got a hit in. He still got a hit in. I'm just so done. I'm like, I've never been on the edge of me never wanting, of me wanting to rage quit a game before. I've never been this far. It's just, it's not a good game. It's not. I've tried to give, to give it my benefit of the doubt. Oh shit. I can't run! <laughs> it only runs when it wants you to run. If you get too close, you can't run. Horrible game design. I can't run right now. Why? Why does this game do what it does, man? Uh, my grade for this game is probably going to change by the end of this. I'm just letting you know. I'm just waiting to see if there's anyone else singular that shows up. That's why I'm still running around. I'm so, I know I seem like I'm a negative Nancy in this, but guys, it's not... It's not as fun as you want it to be, man. It's really not. It's not as... I really, really, really wanted to love this game. Because I... There's so much potential in this. It's just not there. And it's so disheartening. really is.
Alright, I don't even know what I was doing. Was there something I was supposed to get here? Because if there was, I don't remember. I thought there's supposed to be like a thing that's supposed to drop or something here. If there was, I've totally missed it. Okay. I hate being negative Nancy, man. Because I try to find the good in every video game I play. But it's getting harder and harder to find the good in this game. Oh, shit. There was one right there on the floor. This is probably going to be my biggest letdown game of the year. the controls it's the boss design that's what's bad that's those are the two things that are awful those are probably one out of one and two out of ten everything else I love I love about this game the immersiveness the graphics the story I love it love it but that one out of ten and two out of ten on one out of ten on boss fights boss boss fights are so stupid and two out of ten on the melee mechanics because of how non-fun they are you, if you're gonna spend most of your time playing a game that has a lot of melee you gotta make it fun you gotta make it fun I feel so bad for the developers that knew what people were gonna say about this that's why they decided not to put reviews out until game day. That's why they decided. When a team decides not to put uh, reviews out until the game releases, you know what's about to come down. The lab. At the heart of the prison. What are they doing here? This feels like kind of Resident Evil vibes with the tyrants. start by telling me about this. You saw the recordings, you know what happened on Europa? I have no idea what happened on Europa. I wasn't there when the attack happened. No, but she was. Are you sure you really want to? Yes! Do you wish? What did you do to me? I gave you what you wanted. The curse of knowledge. Your core is linked with hers now. Or at least it will be once the sink is complete. 
The data won't transfer immediately, but her memories will fill in the gaps, give you the answers you seek. Okay. Just tell me how we can cure her. You can use this to synthesize an antidote, but you'll need to extract a sample from the warden's elf. Is is what? The goal, this madness. His ridiculous protocol. During the original outbreak, a colonist known as Subject Zero demonstrated a unique ability to synthesize the biofish, to control it. Yeah, I heard in the recording something about bigger, stronger. The next phase of human evolution. Unfortunately, he was killed during the Arca's sterilization. And now, the Warden seeks to replicate the conditions of the original outbreak, hoping to recreate Subject Zero as subject Alpha. By releasing the virus into the prison? As he would say, evolution doesn't happen in a lab. It happens in the wild. But how can he do this? There's no way he can cover this up. He's not acting alone. He's part of a group. Dating back centuries, they seek to control the progress of human... She's... she's waking. Be careful, Jacob. Once synthesized, the antidote will contain the only pure essence from his Alpha. He'll want it more than anything. It's the key to all he seeks. What about you? I played my part in all of this as well. There's no escape for me. Black Iron is where I belong. It's you. Yeah. What happened? Where am I? It doesn't matter. We got what we need. Now let's go finish this. feeling like something's inside my head trying to take over hey just hold on we'll be there soon Is that all right? Zero three eight seven. So seven. You can only run when the game wants you to run, man, and that is such a horrible feature because when you're doing boss fights, man, it makes it so tough. You would have rage quit so many times. <laughs> you know what? It's probably hard to see how bad it is because I'm sure in your guys' eye, you're like, oh, this is so good. And if I was watching it like you are, I would say the same thing. But when you're playing it, you're quickly going to realize quickly it's not like that where the hell did she go oh my god she just magically appeared behind us we gotta be getting close to the end now yeah that guy is his old partner so what happened back there? Last thing I remember is those robots jumping us. Mom yeah, they punched your face out. And you trust her? We got plot armor though. Don't got a choice. Yeah. I'm usually not this critical. I really try to find the best in every game that I play. 
but I also want to be honest with you, you know, I was, uh, I was given this game by Xbox, so I want to make sure that you know exactly how the game is going in. I didn't pay for this game. I want to make sure that you all know you need to wait on this game until it is in a big sale. I know it looks good. I know the story seems really cool, the space theme and all that stuff. But I'm telling you right now, wait until they fix the bugs. Wait until maybe they make the combat a little bit better. Maybe they can change some of the melee by, um, you know, with patches and stuff and fix the bugs on PC and the bugs on the Xbox Series X, which is on the developers, not on Microsoft. Everyone is, uh, that's what pissed me off is before I even played the game is I had to decide which, um, actually, wait a second. I didn't get this game for free. I paid for this game. Holy shit. I just realized I got Midnight Suns for free and I paid for this. I paid $70 for this shit. Do not recommend. No, I wanted to get the PC version so I can only have to pay 60. But the PC version is littered with bugs. Shader, ca shader caching and all that. So, no. Do not recommend you get this until it is at least half the price of what it is right now on consoles. I paid for this shit. I forgot about that. It was Midnight Suns I got from X Xbox. Not this game. What is all this? This is definitely not the UJC. Then who is it? Yeah, I would say it does. The UI kind of has a little bit of a Star Citizen kind of flavor to it. Although the UI in uh, Star Citizen, the colors are awful and it, they need a lot of work on it. But it, it's more immersive because you can actually see it coming out of his arm and it makes sense. Whereas here, it's just just a screen showing up in front of him. Yeah, Philip said he bought it from Steam and it runs bad. That's because it shader catches. So, the game goes on, the, the shaders are catching at the same time. A lot of games, if you ever notice when you log into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on PC, it'll say, shaders loading. And it'll take a good 15 minutes for the shaders to load. That's so it doesn't stutter every time you're playing the game. Because it's loading shaders early, so it, you're, you're good. Same thing for a game like Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is a great space game. It loads its shaders the first time early when you have a new patch and then you don't have to load them again. That way everything is smooth. Well, see in Callista Protocol, it loads them while you're playing. So you're stuttering. Then if you were to say load back, you won't get that stutter because the game now has already fully loaded and you're good to go. It's literally still loading while you're playing. Although we haven't seen any of that on the console versions. What the hell? Danny? Danny, where are you? And now this... you're inside Danny's memories. Seeing the truth of Europe. A diluted test sample released from one of our labs. Yeah, this is that intro beginning. Everything Cold is doing here at Black Eye. One hour implants? Ah! 
Let me go. Look at it. Look at it. What are you talking You'll about? See. You'll see. Do you see? Jacob, what do you got there? What we got here is none of our business. Now come on. <gasps> exactly. I hate that. What he knew all along, but it didn't let the didn't let you know that your character knew about it. This was our fault. <laughs> I just hate the fact that they left that without with us not knowing. It's so stupid. It it is really stupid. What's wrong with you? Did he just forget that he yes, knew all can. about it? We're almost there. <laughs> no. I can feel it. Uh, hear it uh, in my head. Okay. You stay here. I'm gonna come back when I get the cure. Uh, I can take care of myself. Okay. Make him pay for what he's done. You mean for what you helped him do, as in me? Now my guy needs to die because he's the cause of this. He knew what it was, or at least he knew he was carrying something really, really bad. Obviously, he didn't know what they were testing, but he knew there was something bad. But there was no reason for you as the player not to know that. Because how would he have known what the hell it is? So, in the sense, that almost makes the story... Like, meh? What? It almost makes the story, like, not make sense. Like, why give us... That revelation at the end? I, I don't, I don't understand why. Unit online. It doesn't change, it doesn't change anything. He didn't know what he was doing. He just knew there was something bad that he was delivering. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I still like the story. I, I just wish it didn't have that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what... There, we're probably going to have a big, big boss battle of some sort. I don't know if it's going to be against monsters or if it's going to be against an, an actual boss. If it's a boss, then it's going to be the same way it's been, which is stupid. Still can't get the swarming rounds. That sucks. Oh. I mean, I could do the health injector. I don't think it's a bad story. I think that's just a that's a huge miss for them right there. Finished. 
I mean, when games like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic did the whole, you're playing as the villain, you know, uh, thing, that was like a revelation, and that was a really good one. This one, it's like, not, it's not the same, he's still not the, he's not the villain, but there's still what feels like to me, not a payoff, like what was the, what was the purpose of that? I mean, what are you gonna tell her? Now you're gonna tell her I knew all along, but then at the same time we're like, well, he just didn't remember? <laughs> okay, are we gonna have a fight in here? Otherwise, why in the hell is there a freaking thing to explode right there? Probably on the way back. All right, let's reload. Let's get all of our ammunition up. So now we got shoddy, and then that. Or not shoddy, assault rifle on that. Alright, you know it's giving me stuff because we got a fight coming up. Give me a lot of stuff. Why do you think I needed... don't need How many of these health things are they going to give me? Oh my god, look at how many there is. There's so many. Man, is there ever a big boss fight coming up? They're giving you everything off the kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink. What's that black fog there? I just came from here. Oh, this is where I needed to go, okay. Your methods are rash. You risk too much. The greater risk is in failing to act. Especially when the commonality is finally within our grasp. And right on time. He approaches the survivor. Where's the alpha? Just give me the goddamn antidote. He's the alpha, I bet. I'm not gonna let her die. <laughs> Your friend. <laughs> I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. The survivor. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. You are mistaken, Mr. B. The protocol isn't about death. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our destiny. But we were not built for life in space. This Help us get to 100 likes, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, help us. We have to evolve. We are to survive. Now, you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. A 
final contest to determine the true survivor. Humanity! Or my out. Well, 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 five, two, one. You're really a thank you. At first I thought this was a curse. But then I realized. <laughs> a gift. The warden has opened my eyes. Show me my purpose. Now, I'm gonna show you. You ready for the most boring boss fight in the history of dumbass boss fights? Stay close to him, just don't get hit. I mean, it's simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing, same exact thing.
that right there is the only thing that can hit me. Oh my god, except... One hit. Every boss fight is a one hit boss fight. Controls are. You see how awful the controls are? I can't do anything. They're so bad that I cannot switch to the weapons I need. See, I can't. S they added extra enemies. <laughs> they added extra enemies to screw you up now. have a lot to say about this game in the end. And it ain't gonna be pretty. God, I got something with nothing. I'm dead. I don't got any, uh... There you go. Alright. It's impossible to see. Switch, man, doesn't give me enough time. Nope.
You can't block it. You can't block that. What are you supposed to do? If he has an unblockable attack, what the F are you supposed to do? That's why you don't try me.
my god. If you think this is fun, you're an idiot. If anyone out there thinks this is fun, you're the dumbest person alive. I'm sorry, but it's true. This is not fun. It's not compelling, it's not engrossing. It's not fun. I'm stuck. I realize there's a strategy. Obviously, throw the things at him. But what I'm trying to say is, this boss fight, there needs to be a little bit of fun, even no matter what difficulty you're on, but it's not. It's too close to the freaking screen. It's so hard to see. to see it's too close i cannot see what the hell is going on i don't know what's around me it makes it impossible should not be allowed to do that. I can't block it. And you take damage. trying to get enough time to be able to re-health up, but he keeps running towards me. He's 
still running. Oh my god, that right there, that's what I don't like. It's a free fucking hit from him. It's free. Nothing I can do. I got no health. I got no ammo. I got nothing, guys. See me pick him up? Immediately left down. Not enough grip. And then I got the kill. What can you do against that? That's why you gotta get up close. You can't keep him afar, he's gonna do that. Just, it's just a, it's a mean thing, man. We'll be here forever, guys. You know I'm not gonna give up. I don't give up. one of the worst types of fights. Everything about this is is just awful. It's not fun. And I get it. Easier difficulty means fun. Don't play these games unless you want a challenge, obviously. This is normal. This is not, not on a hard difficulty or anything.
I had to do that because they were both right next to each other. I couldn't risk it. Get far away from him, he won't let you. Look at how long that takes. You see how long that takes? Did you see how long that took? God, there was another one. I'm dead. I ain't got no ammo. It won't let me. It won't let me. No time to change. None, none left, none left. All right. Give me another one. Give me another one. Uh, 20. No, switch! Okay. No! I'm out of everything, no! this anymore. <gasps> give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me like five. Give me ten. Give me twenty seconds. Give me fifty. Give me ten minutes. Turning my camera off so I could just say all types of exploitives. Just give me that, okay? And I'm turning my mic off. you've beaten us. Ferris was weak, an imperfect vessel. But in that sample is the key to unlocking a centuries-old dream. That's not failure, Mr. Lee. That's progress. And it belongs to me. No. No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh, please. This is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. 
There's an escape pod up there. To take you back to the life you once had. We can both have everything we want. So tell me, Mr. Lee, what do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want my sister back, fucker! A valiant effort. But surely you know by now, I never lose. No. This time you do. Such a waste. All this to save one life. Don't think you've stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you... Self-destruct sequence initiated. Goodbye, Miss Nakamura. And Mr. Lee, I do hope you've enjoyed your stay at Black Iron. Yachter Core, approaching critical. Of this way. Run! Do now. I can't keep running from what I've done. What are you talking about? Sorry. For everything. I do belong here. Don't do this. Jacob! transfer worked both ways. He learned more about me, and I learned more about him. In the chaos of the moment, I didn't realize he had also given me the evidence I was looking for all along. He sacrificed his life so that I could expose the truth. Was he trying to make up for the pain he caused? Or just chasing some kind of redemption? Either way, I hope he found some peace. I believe that's probably going to be continued in the DLC that's going to be coming out. They said there's new story DLC coming next year, middle of next year. We got a lot to talk about, people. <laughs> we got so much. <sighs> so much to talk about. In case this is copyrighted, I'm going to turn that off real quick. That's definitely going to be copyrighted. <laughs> um, gosh. What can I say? First of all, all right, let me give you my pillars. I'm going to rate this based off of a few different aspects. Visual. So quality, like graphics-wise, visual. Audio. 
gameplay. Fun factor. I guess four. I guess four. That, for me, that's... And my final thoughts, five. Okay? Visual. Best game I've ever looked at. Best graphics I've ever seen in my life. Beats everything. Beats Last of Us. Beats God of War. Beats Uncharted. Beats all of them. This is it. This is the future. This is what I want to see. This was amazing in that, in that aspect. Amazing. So visual aspect. I'm going to grade this on a 1 to 10 scale. Okay? Visual. Oh, I guess story too. Did I not say story in there? Story. Okay, so on a 1 to 10 scale. Visually. If this is the best game I've ever seen, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Right? Um, this was amazing story-wise. 10 out of 10. Story. I love the story. I'll be honest. I like the story. There were a few aspects of the story I did not like the direction it went in. Like, having him... I just forgot that I'm a part of it, that I knew there was something illegal down here, and I just forgot at the beginning of the game, and then in the middle of the game, when we came back to the, 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 the ship, and I opened up the thing, and it said med supplies, I was like, see? Nothing there. And I just forgot, because I'm smart. Story. Seven. Seven out of ten. Story I give seven out of ten. I really enjoyed the story. I, I loved the story. Only thing I did not like about it was that little twist. Everything else I liked about it. They could have done better with the villain, in my opinion. We didn't see enough of him. Um, but yeah, story-wise, seven out of ten. Good, but not great. Mediocre. Seven out of ten is mediocre. Right? It's, it's okay, but... Nothing to write home about. 7 out of 10. Gameplay. 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 <laughs> There's many aspects of gameplay. There's the combat. There's the immersion, right? That goes with gameplay because... The jump scares and the immersion of the creek of the things like that. Gameplay. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Yes, seven out of ten to me is is mediocre. It's like it's okay. It's good. That's mediocre to me. Anything below, yes, if it's if it's 5 out of 10, I know some people say 5 out of 10 means it's just okay, but no, to me, I grade on a scale where anything below 5 is awful, okay? That's just how I work. Just like in grade school, if you get a 50% out of 100, you get an F and you fail, okay? That's how I look at that, alright? So, gameplay, 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. So that's a 10 out of 10, a 7 out of 10, and a 3 out of 10 for those three pillars. Audio. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The reason I'm going to take off two, I think this has some of the best audio that I've ever seen in a video game. But the reason that I'm going to give it a, um, an 8 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 is because those moments when you're doing the stealth and you go after the enemy, the sound gets so loud and you hear things from different sides that make it like you failed the stealth. That confuses me. I don't like that. There were aspects in, in the audio that I think that could have been a little bit better, but overall, 8 out of 10, really, really well. So that's uh, 10 out of 10 visuals, 7 out of 10 um, story, um, 3 out of 10 uh, gameplay, audio, 8 out of 10. Funness. Funness. Every game needs to be fun. If you play a game on a hard difficulty setting at the beginning of the game, the first time you play it, you play it on a hard difficulty setting, then you're not going to have fun, right? Because you're going to be more frustrated than fun. Some people love the challenge and some people consider that fun. But in certain games, I like doing that because I still find it to be fun. 
However, in this game, the funness of the game, which relies heavily on gameplay and not story, the funness of the game relies heavily on gameplay. I got to say on the fun meter, I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. The only reason I'm giving it a 4 is because there were moments in the gameplay that had me on the edge of my seat and was literally fun to do, right? There were a lot of moments where it was really fun, but there was also a lot of moments where it's too frustrating. The, the boss fights, worst boss fights I've ever done in a video game, period. Worst boss fights. Acting was top notch. So uh, that's another reason I should have went into with story. I could, you could go in acting with story, top notch. That helps it gets to that seven out of 10 as well. Um, but fun factor, four out of 10. It's just, I didn't leave every stream like that was so much fun and I can't wait to tackle the next part. A game needs to do that. If you're playing it on the normal difficulty, a game needs to be fun. Don't give me that crap that if you're playing it, I was only playing on normal guys. I wasn't playing on hard. Therefore, I need a fun factor there. If I'm not having fun in the boss fights and they're just frustrating and they're not fun at all, that should be that you're then the, the developers are taking away of what they're trying to accomplish. Do you, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. The funness was a four out of 10. So we've got a 10 out of 10, a seven out of 10, um, a three out of 10, a four out of 10, and an eight out of 10. What's my final verdict? I know it might not equal the, the ratio that I've done between all of the other categories, but there's only one number that I see that this game is going to get from me. One number. Had a great time. I was frustrated. I got upset. I cussed. I got mad. The game threw me through all the emotions that a video game should throw you through, right? A video game should make you pissed off. It should make you unwell especially a horror game right but there's a difference between being pissed off at the sake of wanting to rage quit and being pissed off because you haven't learned how to defeat this boss right the bosses i come back to this time and time again i knew how to defeat the bosses after the first death it was that simple and easy what was frustrating was the controls didn't allow you to to do what you felt should be able to be accomplished it was mundane. It was just dodge, dodge, shoot, shoot, dodge, dodge. This is 2022. If you're in that type of a repeated pattern on a boss, that's wrong. Look at God of War bosses, right? It took you a while to figure them out, but it wasn't a dodge, dodge, shoot. It was a, you had to, they had like 15 different moves. The Valkyries and, and the uh, uh, Berserkers had like 15 different moves. That they, that, they, that they pulled off, and you had to figure each one out, and then you had to go and do it. I know I'm using God of War as a reference here because that's the last big game that I played, so I'm using it as a reference for that sake. Um, I, that was one of the biggest gameplay problems for me. The two biggest gameplay problems were the boss fights and the combat, the melee. I liked the gun combat. was okay. It felt all right. However, because the camera's so close that once you zoom in or once you hold the LT to aim the aiming got really weird because everything was just too zoomed in. So that really hindered it as well. But I did have fun. I know there was a lot of instances where I was hating it, but I did have fun. I came away with this game. Like, I want them to learn what they've done in this game and make a sequel and make it better. Because I like the story enough and I like what they've done with the gameplay enough to feel that I think it warrants another shot, a chance at redemption to a sequel, or even the DLC. Maybe they can make the DLC feel a lot better. Obviously, there's going to be DLC. We're going to cover that DLC, but here is my final score. No matter how much I did enjoy it, and no matter how much I did not enjoy it, I'm stuck with a 6 out of 10. That is where I'm at. 6 out of 10. It was going to be a 7, but then that ending, ending screwed it up. A 6 out of 10. That's a D. That's a pass. All right? If you're looking, a 60% 
in school, at least when, when I was in school my age, I'm a little older than most of you, but when I was in school, a 60% is a pass, okay? Anything 50 and below was a fail. So yeah, you'll pass, but you're at the bottom of the thing. So, I give this game a pass, but I give it a 6 out of 10. It's very close, very close to a 7 out of 10. It's really close. If the gameplay was just slightly better, if your movement was just a little bit more, maybe a little less weighted, but I understand why they wanted to go weighted. They wanted to give immersion. They wanted you to feel like you're controlling this big guy in a suit. You know, they wanted to feel that. Um, my ranking system put it out of 5.0 out of 3. Mathematically speaking, <laughs> close enough, right? I rounded up from 5.3 to a 6. So I feel it got a 6. I feel like this is a game you should get once it's on sale. Do not get it yet. Let it go through a few patches. Let it get better. Let it hopefully, and hopefully they'll love it enough to want to fix it, to want to make the melee system better. I had to switch to the auto dodge. Dodging is super easy and simple in this game. It's just all you do is go up to an enemy and then just immediately hold right. Just hold right. As soon as he hits, immediately hold left. As soon as he hits again, immediately hold right. That's how simple it was. But half the time it wouldn't work. So I had to turn auto dodge on just to get that sense of not worrying about it too much. But I was still doing the same thing I was doing before. Holding right, then holding left. Never doing it the same direction twice. Always doing it one after the other. Okay? So... Um... Yeah. I gotta say... It's a 6 out of 10 for me. There's other aspects that bring it up to a 6 from a 5. Um, like I said, the immersion was so good. The jump scares, eh. After the first few ones, I only got really scared on one jump scare that actually got me. Um, but other than that, the jump scares were just kind of annoying. But the immersion, right? The graphics, the, the story was okay. The sound, man. I didn't even have headphones on. And it still came through my TV really good. So that's what I give it. You guys might disagree, agree, whatever. I mean, that's, this is just my opinion. Everyone else is going to have a different opinion. But if I'm grading on a 0 to 10 scale of what I thought of this game, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. I want to give it a 7. There's a part of me that wants to say 7, but the combat was just just dragging enough for me to feel good. The stealth, albeit I'm glad they added it, felt pointless. It was an added timer on the game. If you don't want to do stealth, you would have finished this much early. I, I, I would say anyone that just ran through those sections could probably complete those sections an hour less than I did. If you take all the stealth, they would have done it an hour quicker than I did because I literally stealthed every enemy that I could. Um... I wanted the extra credits and all that stuff. But in the end, was it really worth it to stealth it? No. You could have just walked on by. You could have just ran on by most of the time. Um, so the stealth, half and half. It did some good stealth. I liked that they put the stealth in there. But in that middle game, in that middle part of the section, for about two hours was nothing but stealth. So that padded that runtime, I think, in my opinion. The game would have been significantly shorter without that. Um, but the, yeah, the one jump scare was the only really thing. Um, yeah, that was really the only one that did it, you know. But there you go. Six out of ten. Let's see. Um, let's see what we got. That's it. So there's no after credits. I do want to see where do I get to my trophies. I just want to see what I've done. So we did 62%, 21 out of 27. There's still a few hidden trophies. You can see them right there. Let's view all trophies. That's probably for completing it on a harder difficulty. Not bad. I only missed six in my first playthrough. All right, next thing's up. As far as me doing a walkthrough for this game, I don't know. There is no such thing as a perfect walkthrough for a game like this. There's too many instances where it's too easy 
to to get hit and get frustrated. And that right there alone on the hardest difficulty will literally make me want to rage quit. And even though I usually have a strong fortitude with not rage quitting and I suffer through it and I have you all with me to suffer with me, um, I don't know. I don't honestly, this is one of those games that I don't know if I want to do a walkthrough for because the stress the amount of perfection I would need to do, the amount of perfection that I provide for myself, I don't think could meet my standard. I want to go through the game with barely taking a hit. You can't do that. I don't think you could do that. And if someone does get through the game without taking a hit, kudos to them. But it doesn't seem plausible to me. It, and I just don't feel like I need to do a walkthrough. I don't feel like I need to do it. Maybe I'll change in a little while. After I've let the game, maybe once I do the DLC and I get back into it again and I feel a connection with it again. But right now, I just want to put it down and not say... And just get it out of my head. Get it out of my mind and move on. That's what I want to do right now. Um, and the game shouldn't make you feel that way. Again, that goes, that goes to say, you know, why it's a 6 out of 10. Because the game should not make you feel that way when you finish it. I didn't feel that way with God of War. I want to keep playing God of War, but there's no more for me to do. Unless I do give me God of War mode, which I still might do more live streams on that. But I literally completed everything in God of War Ragnarok, and I still wanted to do more. That's how you do a game. These guys, these are this is a Striking Distance, whatever their name is. This is their first game made by a lot of developers from different, you know, things and, and love for video games. You gave it a noble shot on your first time. Take the criticism. Take what people are not liking from this, build upon it, build, and carry it forward. Please, a publisher, these guys have what it takes. Clearly, they have what it takes. Give them a shot. Let them build upon it. Let them mistake, let them correct the mistakes that they've made, right? That's how we learn. That's how we get better. But I would definitely say wait. Wait for a sale on this game. Um... Let it go down in price. $70 is too high. I did not want to spend $70 in the first place. I wanted to get the PC version, but there was just... There's no way I could do it. So, um... I'm always going to tell you whether or not a game is worth it. And you can usually tell by my gameplay. I don't think it's worth it right now. Give it a wait. And then tackle it a little bit later when there's a little bit of a sale. Or you got a little bit more money. Um... Yeah, but other than that, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me yelling and screaming and getting upset. I don't like to do that because um, I don't have a filter sometimes, you know, and, and Green knows all about this. When you're a military person, sometimes your filter just goes right out the window and you can't even control the things that come out of your mouth. But, um, and I do apologize for that. I don't normally cuss. And for those of you that watch that are under 18, that's on me. I do apologize, but this game got me worked up. It got, it got me worked up quite a bit, but thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for being here with me. I know we didn't get a lot of views on the game, but thank you for the donations and the members and, um, and all of that, because that really helps to pay for that game that we just paid for and hopefully to pay a little bit of electric, a little bit of phone bill, a little bit of all that stuff, because that's what these donations go to that you guys do is just literally paying my bills. It's not going for me to go out and get something nice and pretty. I don't do that. <laughs> I haven't got something new in in years because all all I get from YouTube is all I can pay straight into taking care of my family and paying the bills. Um, and it's a tough time right now, obviously. So for those of you out there that can show your support, thank you for doing that. Um, you know, next month, the insurance is going to start over again and we're going to have to put, I think it's $1,500 straight out into my healthcare insurance just to be able to go to the doctor and we don't even have that so there's a lot of trying to figure things out at the beginning of the year that we're going to have to do coming up so that's why you're going to keep seeing me stream and do videos and try to make as much content as i can because this is how we get money we're still waiting on jen's word for social security i'm probably going to have to file for social security as well um remember i'm not getting any of my va disability until 2034 uh, so, um, that's going to be a while for that, obviously. I will, uh, I'll be 50, 51 by then. So, uh, it's going to be a while before I'm going to get any of that. Um, but anyways, thank you all for all of you out there that do help. But I appreciate it. Some of you might not consider this a full-time job or a job period, but it is. Today's landscape and jobs have changed. 
And you can do this for a living, right? You just got to keep with it. You don't want to give up. You don't want to stop doing what you love to do. And, and I don't want to have to stop doing this either. So if I can continue to do it, I want to keep trying. Keep putting my best forward. So I'm going to get with Green. We might be doing a stream tomorrow um, evening sometime for the Gotham Knights uh, co-op. There's a new DLC co-op that just came out that we could try out. So if you want to stay tuned for that, make sure you stay tuned on the channel. I'll get with Green and see if he still wants to do it and see if he's still up to do it. Um, but that might be fun too. And yes, I know we got to get to a Plague Tale requ uh, Requiem. We're going to get to that, I promise, um, as, as we get back into it because there's no new games coming out. So we got to finish up some other stuff um, and um, and do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I stuck with it too. I'm telling you guys, I stick with things when I have you all in my corner and you're there with me, right? When And that that's the thing. It's harder to want to stick with something if you really don't enjoy it and you're not having a good time. But when you have some people behind you uh, motivating you in the chat and, and, and commenting and liking and all that stuff, it really does motivate me in general to want to finish these things. And I want to be that YouTuber that's able to finish all the stuff that he starts. So thank you all for helping me to stick with it. Um, as well. So yeah, I'll talk with Green uh, offline uh, and just um, we might be doing a stream tomorrow on some Gotham Knights. So other than that, thank you all for tuning in. I love you all. Be safe. Happy Sunday. Browns win. Ohio State's in the college football playoff. <sighs> I'm alive. My wife's alive. Ella's alive. You all are here. So life is good right now. Enjoy these moments. They don't always last forever. So love you all. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey, Jerry. Meow.